Well, hello, folks. This is Laura here in Ontario, Canada, Zone 4A, and it's time to address my garden truck for the fall. Yes, I need to get ready for fall planting. I am going to be planting Caraflex cabbage, and I've already started the seeds, and they have germinated, so it's going out. It, the qualifier for this one is the best tasting cabbage, the sweetest, most tender cabbage that we have ever had in trials, and it's early, too. A very popular one to two pound cabbage. Perfect for coleslaw, stir fries, etc., etc. Yes, indeed, folks. It matures in 50 days from transplanting. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. To get started, I need to take the shade cloth off and the netting off and reveal what is underneath in the garden truck that I built many years ago. What's left is daikon radish. I didn't realize I had planted so many of the daikon radish. I am so happy about that. But they needed a little bit of work. They needed tying in. And, you know, they were getting wild. So move over a little bit, daikon radish. Here comes the carrot cabbage. you got to make some room. But first, I must address something that I've kept hidden. It's a broken umbrella on top of a uh, oscillating fan stand. The oscillating fan broke. I kept the stand. I put the, the umbrella into the stand, and then I used it for years. Well, the sun killed the material that the umbrella was made out of. It was a golfing umbrella, and it got holes. Well, the holes weren't too big, but then they got bigger. So then I put a lace curtain over the top of it for shade. Sometimes I'll use a sheet. Yes, it's, 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 uh, what's the word for it? Uh, trailer trashy? <laughs> When you're hot and you need shade, some might call it ingenious. I got hot. I was out there for over an hour dealing with the uh, garden truck, and I got hot. And the sun was, it was 11 o'clock, and the sun was shining right on me, and I was wearing a black shirt. I had to go in and change out of the black shirt. And I set up this thing really quickly with clothespins and threw that lace curtain over the top of this broken umbrella. And then I was in the shade, and I was able to finish dealing with the garden truck. So here is my plan. I took it all apart. I took all of the all of the ripped material that the umbrella was made out of off. And I'm going to use that yellow sheet and make a covering for this so I can use it as shade when I need it out there. It's wonderful because I gave my daughter my patio umbrella because it never tilted and it it never shaded me when the sun was on me. So this I can move around easily on the fan stand and <laughs> and the sheet will work perfectly. So I, I did take that all apart and I'm going to be working on that this afternoon. So since it was a mild day and my cabbage um, seeds germinated, I thought I'm not going to wait for the true leaves. I'm going to go ahead and plant them out in my garden truck and put a netting over them and a shade cloth so they can adjust to the ground. It's going to be cool all day today so I thought it was a perfect day to do it. And I also make something special for my little seedlings when they're really, really young. Here, I'll show you what I did. I save my yogurt containers and I also make strips out of them for plant labels. Well, I had a bunch of strips already cut and I thought, I'm going to make some collars for my cabbages. So when I water it, they don't get like knocked over and you know what I mean. Yeah, it protects them a little bit. While I was working, I noticed I had a little visitor come check out things. I guess he thought I had already gone indoors, and I hadn't. <laughs> we get these bugs every year. They don't have a mouth. They only have two eyes. They, uh, they are food for the fish of the, of the lake here, of where I live. Uh, they just fly around. They stick to everything, and if you step on them, they smell like fish. They don't bite because they have no mouth. And, uh, yeah, they're just a pain. And at night, they cover the lights million. And as you can see, he was not harmed. He just flew right into my netting. I suppose I'm on a roll with uh, crafting things and seeing things and thinking, oh, I can make that. Do you know what this is for? It's a stick with a hook. So now that the netting and the, everything's off, it's time for me to set up my camera, set up my chair, because there's no leaning over for this long. No, there wasn't any leaning over for this long. And this came before I moved an umbrella in. So I got my coffee handy and I put it beside me. I had a bucket of cold water for anything that I could harvest, greens. 
that were not daikon radish and I could put it in the cold water as I cleared out this bed in preparation for my Cara Flex cabbage seedlings to go in. I would have to, however, <laughs> wrangle and tie and contain the daikon radish. I had never grown them before. So, and I had a couple of pots in there. There's Swiss chard in there, and there's pak choy in there in pots that I had just sitting on top of the garden truck. Why, you ask? Because I knew I was planting way too much, and if I needed to move something, it would be easier for me to move a potted plant out of the garden truck than it would be to pull up it from its roots and move it that way. And I had to inspect the daikon radish because I noticed some bug holes in it for the first time. And the reason for that is we did have a little bit of rain which brought the earwigs. So I did find, oh, four or five earwigs and a roly-poly bug in there uh, in the garden truck that I had to dispatch and uh, get rid of it. So I thought it's time for the shade cloth to go since the bugs have found the plants and just leave the netting on so the cabbage moth butterfly hopefully can't lay eggs that drop through the netting. They can do that at times, but hopefully not. Anyhow, I was sitting there looking at what I needed to do and contemplating whew, how much bug damage it was going to be. There wasn't all that much to my surprise. And no worms, no, you know, not worms, but no, uh, no caterpillars, just earwigs, which, you know, are not as bad as caterpillars, but they're scarier. Well, let's just say caterpillars are cuter than earwigs, so I just sort of quickly grabbed them really quickly and flick them off. And then I put the, the tatsoi and the pak choy that I had growing, and I took it all out as I uh, wanted to clear the bed of all that and only leave the daikon radish and tie it in to uh, corral it, as I said before, because the cabbage is going to grow and need space. But right now, it's going to get hot over the next couple of days. So um, it'll be good that uh, the daikon radish plants will, you know, protect my, my uh, tender seedlings from the heat and whatnot and uh, as it grows. And as it grows, then I'll probably start harvesting some of the daikon radish out of the way and uh, or pushing it back even further to give sunlight to the cabbage because this cabbage needs full sunlight when it gets bigger. Uh, not as a seedling, but right now <laughs> because it started off indoors. I should have been smart and just started it off in the garden tray, but I didn't have it cleaned out yet, so... This is me just sort of getting hot because, see, got a black shirt on. Don't know why I put a black shirt on. I have no idea. I thought it was going to be chilly. I had two shirts on, actually. I had a long sleeve shirt underneath my short sleeve shirt. And uh, I just don't know why. So after all the collars were safely put on my little cabbage seedlings, aren't they precious, inside my garden truck. Yeah, they're precious. Uh, it was time to water. And I had a little spray bottle that you pump, and then it sprays. And at first I started out, and you can't tilt a half-empty spray bottle that you pump because it'll just spit, so you got to fill it up. So I tried three times until I smartened up, and then I filled up the uh, spray bottle. <laughs> pumped it, and then it worked beautifully, and sprayed my little seedlings just right. There we go. Where is it? I don't even see it on here. There we go. I don't know what I was doing, taking a nap, trying to figure out the nozzle, because I didn't want to bombard them with a hard spray. I just want a little soft spray. And then I covered it with the shade cloth because they're just, they were inside, now they're outside. And uh, yeah, I, I find that works well for me. And I corralled in my daikon radishes, as you can see, with all the string 
to hold them back so they're not over shading my cabbages when I remove that shade cloth. And then very soon I will put the netting back on, but I'm sure these plants were enjoying the fresh air without any bug netting or shade cloth. Remember that hook on a stick? Did you figure out what I was making? Well, you're going to see very shortly. What's that five, number five and number six? What is that for? What do you think that's for? That's to measure my cucumbers. Yeah, five inches, six inches. That's for cutting of the cucumbers or three to four inches if I want to pickle them. That's what the package said. So I've been pickling them and um, harvesting about four inches and then I pickle them. And they're only coming one at a time. Or I, I harvested two the other day. So there's the shade cloth and there is the netting back on to protect my plants. I'm not putting the shade cloth over the daikon radish, nor am I putting it over the um, collard greens. Yeah, there's my uh, whew, trailer park uh, umbrella <laughs> that I'm going to fix and make pretty and have fun doing it. I love crafting. I love DIY.